Hello and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Derek Welker and today we are going to be discussing the texture settings found within SOLIDWORKS Visualize. For anyone that's used SOLIDWORKS Visualize, you know that you can get really, really high or quality output from SOLIDWORKS Visualize, but there are some tweaks that, that are going to be required to get you from that, I guess, uh, rendered image to that realistic image. So today we're going to be discussing the texture settings that are found within an appearance. Now the texture settings, there's four of them. There's color, specular, alpha, and bump. So the color option uses an image to color the material. It'll shade the model very similar to the image instead of using just a one color to overall uh, color everything or shade everything. I'm gonna show exa an example of that very soon just, to, just so it makes a little bit more sense. The specular map uses a black and white image to create or remove highlights. It's also commonly associated re with reflectivity and it's usually used when you're when you've got some sort of wear in a material so like any sort of scratches or just highly used areas similarly to like a guitar like the area of which your hand would be would rest on that would where you that would be where you'd want to use a specular map an alpha map also uses a black and white image and it's typically used alongside a specular map and it's commonly seen in multi-layer appearances so places where you'd um, try and create transparency of the appearance so a couple examples of that would be um, like a chain link fence or a like speaker cover if that's not modeled in already so if they're not modeled in that's typically when you would use an alpha map to create that transparency now a bump map which is the last portion or the last option it uses a black and white image to create more depth within the appearance. So it's, um, it uses the darker parts of that black and white image to shade the color darker in those areas. And the same goes with the light. Um, typically the exact same appearance image that you use, that you currently use for the actual uh, appearance can be used as long as you just change that to black and white. And it does that to create the um, the dark and the light portions of it. And I've used this with a stone or brick in the background or, or stone or brick appearance and it has turned out to be really, really good. So the color and bump maps are typically the most common. The specular and alpha you don't see too much just because they have to be used specifically in tandem with, e with each other. Um, and it, they typically require some custom work inside of Photoshop to create. So since the color and bump map are gonna be the most popular, that's what I'm gonna be showing you today. So let's take a look. First, let's apply a carbon fiber appearance to our car remote by simply dragging and dropping onto our model. Right off the bat, we notice that a bump map has already been applied by default. Taking a look at the bump map settings, this is where the adjustment begins. Changing the tile value is what makes the scale of the texture smaller or larger, which in return makes it look more realistic. This might be a little hard to see with carbon fiber, so I have apl applied a mahogany appearance to the backside, and I'll show you how the tile setting makes a big difference with that appearance. You can see how the grain of the wood does not look very realistic, but changing it to be a smaller tile value makes it look more like it should. This is easily the most common and important texture setting. Going back to the carbon fiber bump map, there is the rotation and bump strength settings. The rotation setting allows you to line up your appearance with the model by rotating it into place. The bump strength determines how pronounced the bump mapping is with the appearance. Typically the default value works well, but if you need to change it, it's there. Now let's discuss the color map. First let me apply a color to the carbon fiber. What you will notice is the entire appearance changes to red instead of it maintaining a black and red weave like it normally would. Now, if I apply a carbon fiber color map, what you will notice is that it creates a black and red weave like what you are looking for. This is more realistic. This colors the appearance more like how it would actually be colored in the real world. If I adjust the tile settings, you'll notice it's not lining up with the bump size. Instead of trying to match the tile size so I can select on the, I can, I can select on the bump map option and then select sync textures. This will apply all of the settings of the bump map to the color maps to make sure and also make sure that any future changes will update both. It's an easy way to get to this desired result. 
Hopefully you will take advantage of some of the different texture options after watching this. Thank you for watching another Cab Dimensions Tech Tip. See you next week. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below. 